Tokyo Vice's new HBO Max drama series starring Schmansel Schmelgort as uh, Jake Adelstein, Ken Watanabe as Hiroto Katagiri, Sho Kasamatsu as Saito, Rachel Keller as the hostess Samantha, and uh, Renko Kikuchi as Emmy, which is uh, Jake's boss on the show. There's like a few other people, but I feel like those are like the main characters mm-hmm. in this series, like the heavy hitters. It's about an American guy who has lived in Japan for a while and ends up becoming the first foreign reporter for the Meicho, right? Is the uh, Japanese yeah. newspaper, which is like one of the most prestigious newspapers in the world at the time, because it takes place in 1999. Because now newspapers just like don't exist, right? Uh, the first, I think it's produced by Michael Mann, and the first episode is directed by him, which mm-hmm. I was pretty excited about because he's done like, he did Heat. He also did Collateral. I was trying to think of the name of that movie and off the top of my head. Those two movies are great. I, I want to say Dripping and Vibe, but that's like such a Zoomer thing to say. He has a particular style, I want to say, when he does stuff like that, like crime stuff, and I love it. But I don't know if I loved this. How did you, how did you feel about Tokyo Vice? The first episode, about 45 minutes in, I fell asleep and had to go back and rewatch the last 15 minutes. Nothing was really connecting too heavily. The second episode, I almost fell asleep and had to like change where I was sitting. <laughs> Here's my problem um, with very, this. The very first scene is two years before the story actually starts and it just goes back. That ira- Plus it's also based on the true story of a guy who like is a producer on the show and wrote this book. Eliminates mm-hmm. all tension. Nothing bad is going to happen to this guy. Nothing seriously bad is going to happen to him. It's true. For like the entire fucking plot of the show. Like, I want a show where I'm like, is this guy going to get murdered right now? Oh my God. Right. Such tension. But like, do shows even kill main characters anymore? I feel like, no. We need a show that's like, on episode three, the guy who thinks the main character just gets fucking killed. And like, it's about someone who was like a secondary character from that point on. Someone so needs to do that Game of Thrones. Yeah. Because no one does that. It's all just like... Yeah. Plus, they're telling you by the, with this like weird flash forward scene that it's like this guy is totally safe. Plus, it's, like I said, it's based on a true story. So, like, unless they right. decide to kill the character at some point because they don't like the guy they're working with in like a future season, but if it goes beyond his story, which I doubt, that takes all tension away. Plus, it's just like this exists in a world that we live in in our time where so many shows not so many but there's like i had just watched a show that i'm probably going to talk about this week by myself that i think is one of the best things i've seen in a very long time it's definitely Mm -hmm. the best thing of this year so far and like this just paled in comparison to it and i was like this is tokyo vice is a show it's a show like is it bad no is it good but it's there (laughs) Here's the problem that I have, because sometimes shows that are, you know, for at least the first few episodes are just there. You can kind of passively have on yep. unless you can speak Japanese and English. You can't just have this on. You have to be fully invested. So you were saying because it's partially in Japanese, it demands your attention, but it doesn't really do enough to keep it essentially. Right. That's that's my yeah. biggest problem with it. I feel like this is a show made for the early 2000s because it takes place in the 90s and they just expect you to have the same level of non-distraction that people might have had at that point when cell phones were as ubiquitous but now like you said you're probably going to be looking at your phone while you're watching this i know i did at some point again it's not bad but it's not great so it depends on how if you want to spend your time on that how much you want to see tokyo in the late 90s 